So in this video we're going to have a look at the photosystems. These are complexes that are used in the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis and they are found in the thylakoid membrane within the chloroplast. Um, as you can see from this diagram here, this central section, this is the photosystem complex and that is found within the thylakoid membrane which is indicated by this phospholipid bilayer. Now in terms of either side of this membrane, on the inside here, this is the thylakoid space. So it's the inside section of the flattened sacs, which are the thylakoids. And over this side, we have outside of the thylakoids, which is then the stroma of the chloroplast. So in terms of the photosystems, these are the initiators of photosynthesis. So they absorb light and they are the first steps of the light dependent reactions. So therefore they drive the whole process. Now the three key sections in side of the photosystems, which I've indicated here in different colors. So this green, green blob at the bottom here, this is chlorophyll A. These blue blobs here on either side, these are accessory pigments and they are basically any other pigment other than chlorophyll A. And it's different in different plants what is in there. And then at the top here we have this black section. That is a reaction centre and that contains an electron acceptor. Now when we go through the light dependent reactions we'll go through how each of these is used in a little bit more detail and before that we're just going to go over the two different types of photosystems that you find in the light dependent reactions. So there are two that are used. Firstly we have photosystem one um, and this one works very very well at the light wavelength of 700 nanometers. We also have photosystem 2 which works best at 680 nanometers. So both of them absorb light more efficiently at slightly different wavelengths. So photosystem 1 is 700, photosystem 2 is 680. Sometimes you will see photosystem 1 referred to as P700, so photosystem 700, and sometimes you'll see photosystem 2 referred to as P680, so therefore photosystem 680. So these two photosystems will work together so that they produce and transfer both ATP and NADPH, which is our electronics uh, acceptor for photosynthesis. These are the two products that are made from the light dependent reactions which are then used in the light independent reactions and these photosystems are the complexes which start this whole process off.